Hello everyone, welcome to Test Lab, and today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Elite Ember. Alright guys, here we are, 2020, the brand new Elite Ember. No boom, how exciting is this? Seriously. Uh, it's, I'm pretty pumped. We got to Dude, see it at ATA. And... 499 Elite Archery. So that's the thing about this, guys. You're getting Elite Archery bow for 499 When I heard about this, we talked about it on the podcast when you guys were down at the show. Yeah. You guys had sent us information about it. I was so excited. So I was like, are you telling me we're gonna be able to get some elite technology in a price of that is $4.99. I mean, what a smart move. And, and also, the ability, and I know you'll go through the specs in a minute, but the ability to have adjustments for what, see, I, when I see this bow, I don't necessarily think of just a child or a woman. I think of me, like yeah. honestly. Like I'm like, wow, this is everything I want. It's super light, it's got tons of adjustability. Sure, it only goes to 60 pounds, but a lot of guys. I'm only 60 shooting pounds, 60 yeah. pounds, so like I can max this thing out and maybe even think of going to 55 and have a super light compact bow that I can get in and out of the woods with. Pretty sick, man. For sure. So let's let's roll through the specs real quick, no boom, and then uh, we'll jump to some of the tech and go from there. We'll do. So axle to axle, we got 31 and a quarter inches. Weight of only 3.6 pounds, like we said, which is really crazy. Brace height is six and a quarter. Draw length 15 to 29 inches and weight 10 to 60 pounds. So that is a really big huge, gamut. Huge variety. And I think like you were saying earlier to me, you know, behind the scenes about, man, this is such a good bow for uh, a child growing up as well because yeah. they can go in stages and keep the bow and, you know, have an elite, which is yeah. kind of cool, right? Because at this point, we've never seen this where elites had a bow that actually fits this mold, right? It's always yeah. been a perform high performance bow at the top of the line. But even like you said, guys, like you know, they say you did something to your shoulder. This would be perfect to get you back in the game. Oh, absolutely. You know I mean? The bow's got suppression built into it. It's got a limb saver on the uh, limbs. Yep. Uh, it's also got the string stop, which is an elite, which I don't know who actually makes that. It might be elite, it might be another brand. And then they have a dampener in here as well, which is a limb saver as well. Uh, again, if you look at the riser, it has a lot of the same looks as an elite, which is cool. They even got a cage built into it here. They also have uh, the grip, which is actually interesting because it's a, a, like a rubberized material here and it feels good. It's a little bit small for my hand, as you can see. Yeah. So I get what they did with this. They have it, but I still can shoot it. You know right. what I mean? I was shooting, I was like, wow, it works. But you can see I'm touching here for me. Uh, but everybody's different. And again, the advantage to that though is there's gonna be a wide range of people who can shoot that bow. Exactly. Winner's choice strings on it. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> so they so you're <laughs> they paying for it, right? You're yeah. getting that kind of stuff. All right, no boom. So let's just talk a little bit about the tech. What's on this bow that you, that we know of? Um, we got the cage riser, like we said. Yep, that was stainless great. steel cam bearings. Bam, top quality there. Yes, sir. Aluminum pockets, cams, and mods. Oh yeah, so they're not even plastic. You know, some people make comments on other bows about how oh, this is plastic, or they made changes there, but that's aluminum, so that's mm -hmm. good. And it does come with limb stops. Limb which stops is nice. there, all right. Nice. Split limbs with the Vibex blocks, like we said. Okay. And then the winner's choice strings. Awesome. Well, that's a lot of great stuff for four ninety nine. Sure is. <laughs> I mean, yep. and, and I mean, uh, this is a great option, guys. Honestly, if if you have a teenager, a wife, um, if you just want something yourself that's small and compact, or a backup bow, this is mm -hmm. definitely an option. I think that could be for you. Yeah, um, and one of the options that we saw at ATA, I'm not sure if it's out yet, but they actually they have a package deal. Ooh. Comes with all CB components that's and exciting. the quiver and everything. So that could be really awesome. You know, those usually aren't too much more. That'd be a great pickup. And then you just have everything ready to go and get out in the field. This thing looks awesome, guys. All right, so let's get let's get shooting it. Let's uh, let the people see the speeds that we're getting out of it. For sure. And also let them you know hear and see how it fires. So let's get let's shooting. Let's do it. it. All right, guys, shooting the Elite Ember. Um, we're doing a 29 inches of draw, 60 pounds, um, and the first air is 350 grains. 285. All right. 251. 550 grains. 231. And the last one, 687 grains. 209. All right, guys, just got done shooting the Ember from Elite. I thought the bow did really well at 60 pounds, 20 inches of draw. Uh, first arrow was 285 feet per second. Second was 251. Our third was 231. And our fourth was 209 feet per second. All really good and I think perfect for deer hunting.
All right, so we just got done shooting the new Elite Ember. And let me tell you, for $499, to let this bow grow with your kids, or you know, you're getting a new archer in the game, and even, I mean, it's it's gonna kill a deer, right? It's going super fast for, you know, what it, what it's built for and what it's made for. So to start to, from 15 inches of draw all the way to 29, and then 10 to 60 pounds, and a bow that weighs 3.6 pounds. <laughs> We're, we're packing some heat. It doesn't have the same back wall as, as a regular Elite uh, bow would have, but it's still nice and it still racks up and it still shoots and I really like it. So for the, the price point, how you can get your kids into this bow or your wife or a younger hunter and let it grow with them, it's an excellent investment for $499. You know, I, I'm almost 40 years old. I'd shoot this bow and, and kill a deer with it. It's moving fast. It's ready to go. A lot of options here, especially say you, you hurt your shoulder, you need to bring your poundage down a little bit and get back in the game. This bow is exactly what you're looking for. So go ahead and make sure you check out leadarchery.com, get to your dealer and give this thing a shot.